This occasion in the video, we know this was a very relaxed female who was often visiting the dam during the daylight hours. So we decided to free dart her. So I'm Karen. Um, I have taken over the monitoring of the carnivore data um, since all of our researchers left uh, during COVID. And we put on GPS collars to many of the brown hyenas with a fall off mechanism in around July. Um, and I noticed that one of the hyenas, a, a, a hyena we call OBH4, we noticed that her collar was missing. But we could see from the GPS points on the, on the website, you know, so, so basically the, the collars transmit um, their location every half an hour and um, whenever the, the hyena moves near a repeater, the data uploads to the internet and then I can see it on the, on the program. And um, so, we can, so we can basically see historically where they've been and what, what their activity has been. So when I saw this hyena didn't have her collar anymore, I checked the website and we could see where the collar was still transmitting from. It was, where it was was in, in sight of a repeater, so the data is being uploaded. And we were able to go to that spot and with a bit of looking around, we could find it. The direction was straight towards here. Mm. I was thinking, because the that would have rained. Yeah, with no light, there's no shadows, it's really difficult to follow them. But it came in this direction, so I just thought it would come to this hole. The GPS points are usually about within 500 meters accuracy. So just walking around a little bit, we were able to find that, that collar. Okay. Okay, well. Okay, so well, that was quick. How long did that last? Yeah, she only had it on for. She only had it on for a while, you can see yeah. clearly. Sorry, I'll take this away. Yeah, you see the so, drop-off? Yeah, drop off very quick. So this is the drop-off mechanism, so you can see. So it was a bit longer, so yeah. there's a piece missing. Yeah, there's a piece that's dropped off, and you can see, most probably it could have happened, look here. Yeah, she was grabbed by potentially another hyena in the neck. Grabbed, there's another tooth mark there. And then obviously with that shake, would tear this off, and that's potentially what also could be happening. These things are not aging. They're putting these on so the sun ages them and naturally fall off. They not we are not realizing that a brown hyena, all the fighting is grabbing by the neck and shaking, and when they shake, that'll just tear it off. And I think that's what's happening. And there's lots of fighting even amongst themselves for hierarchy and and um, all kinds of disagreements, most probably. It's either that or cubs. But she and she's it. lactating. Well, she's lactating. No. Yeah. So she could have. But had, I mean, it didn't fall off. I mean, there's no, no activity, yeah, there's around, no activity here, so. around here. So it was most probably. But then again, it could have torn with the cubs rolling it and it just hanging on by those bits there. And then she went And then somewhere. she's walking and then she gets here and she drops it. Dr gets hooked on that branch. And that's just the last bit of tension that as she walks past it tears it loose and it drops off. Yeah. But we're learning. And, and we're as a matter of fact, I think that's what's happening. And we can use this one it's, again. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the drop off mechanism is potentially being torn with either cubs playing with it, but that's not a cub, that's something that's really grabbed hold of it. Not spitting right through there and just torn it off. And you're finding these collars because you... Well, I saw her and she had no collar. Yeah. So so then when we check the GPS, we can see, you know, where it's where the last recording was. Okay. So, you know, we noticed that that OBH4 didn't have her collar. Um, so we used the, the website. This is um, a wireless wildlife which is the people who make their collars. And um, we can see the data uh, on the website and we can see, you know, a cluster of points. Despite the fact that her collar is no longer on her, there's a cluster of points that are still transmitting. So this is where, this is how we went to the site to find her collar.